You know, between you and me, the Arctic sub-tank isn't a tank underwater that's really good with cold weather. It does this. Ooh. Hello everybody in YouTube land. Today we are going to be looking at the Arctic. The Arctic uh, sub ohm tank. Awfully exciting isn't it? You've probably seen this with a lot of other reviewers and it all intents and purposes mine is probably not going to be that much different facts are facts they you know it will only work kind of one way but um, I thought I'd give you my kind of impression on it and how I felt about it there are a lot of uh, sub ohm tanks going around in the market at the moment and there's a lot that personally I'm, I'm not a great fan of them being so easily available because I think it it, it attracts people into the sub ohm world as they're as their fur, as their start point but anyway i rant about that on my vlog so let's get back to to basics um i've got the sub ohm tank it's not in the box at the moment because it's just on my uh it's just on my segeli 150 here i have just done a, a little bit of a of a up close and personal so i will cut that in here and you can have a little look and then once we're done with there we'll come back we'll have a little vape and we'll see how we get on have fun okay so here we go for a little bit of uppy closey time with the arctic tank um as i mentioned i haven't unboxed it yet this is the first time of going through that so we can all have a little bit of a learn together now this is the first uppy closey i've done so excuse me if i have a bit of a focusing issue um but one of the things you will see, hang on, which way around am I going? And a little bit of a focus in there. Looks about right. Is that the Arctic, as you're probably aware of by now, has a 0 0.2 coil and a 0 0.5 coil. Uh, 0 0.2, 30 to 100 watts allegedly, and 0 0.5 will be 30 uh, to 80 watts. Um, are they going to go that hard? I don't know, to be honest with you. Am I going to be pushing them today? No, I'm not. And the reason I'm not pushing them today is because um, I've only got the coils that came with the with the unit. I do not have any other any other coils. And in all honesty, I bought this as I, as I've said before from Puff Palace. Um, but I don't. I haven't seen that they've got the extra coils on the. Uh, on the uh, on the website yet, so I don't want to knacker some coils before I before I have a full understanding that uh, I can get more. So where are we at? Take the cardboard off. Nothing too exciting to say there. Um, on the front there, we are organic cotton allegedly, which is nice. On the back, you've got a list of instructions. Where are we? focused up for you more or less a list of instructions there showing where to fill it and so on and also it does have the 0.5 to 1.2 ohm a 10 amp continuous discharge battery is required 0.2 to 0.5 ohm a 25 amp or higher continuous continuous discharge battery is required um, it's interesting they've put uh, continuous on there as opposed to pulse um, but there we go. So let's have a little look, see, shall we? Got the tank. All looks very nice. It's very, very similar to to a lot of the other ones, really. I mean, if you look at what have I got next to me here for the wife this weekend? I may I put some uh, good old red astaire in. Uh, in the old Atlantis. So let's have a little bit of a size comparison with the Atlantis. There we go. So they're not far off. The Atlantis is a little bit shorter, a tiny, tiny amount shorter, but there's not really much in it at all. 
and drip tip to drip tip is pretty much the same. There's nothing really special in it. Um, pretty much the same sort of weight. I would imagine Mr. Bissardo would probably have these weighed by now. But anyway, so what have we got? Let's start taking things apart, shall we? All right, unscrew the base section, like so. The drip tip will pop out, like so. And the glass will also pop out, like so. Now in here, we have the coil, which coil is this? This is the 0 0.5 coil, this one. Now, I'm gonna get this focused up because I'm gonna show the reason I wanted one of these. Okay, so we've got that saying 0 0.5, 30 to 80 watts. The BTDC, it's the coil, but these, this is the reason. Look at the size of that wick hole. And there as well. That is monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. Now, I, I've been loving the Delta. The Delta has got the juice control function on it, so you can enlarge or shorten the wick hole, which has been spectacular. But this is uh, is taking it, well, it's not, you haven't got the, the, the control over it, but just pure, pure wicking wise, it's going to be fantastic. The other side of things is that you've got four holes in the base there. Now that's where your airflow comes in. Now, once again, if we compare that, oh, I haven't got a, uh, I haven't got an Atlantis coil to hand. But if you compare that to a number of other coils, you quite often will only have the two holes in the bottom here, um, which is where the air comes in. It'll come in the uh, in the base section, in these, come up through the 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 the, the, the middle underneath and it will go up through the coil via the holes at the bottom of the uh, of the coil. Now, you've obviously you've got four holes there, which makes it nice and easy, lots and lots of air. You have got the four air holes on the bottom here as well, so all in all, it should be nice and an airy, airy, airy bait, which is all good. I imagine it's gonna be pretty poor for you mouth to lungers, but if you're a, a straight lung hit person like me, then it should be pretty decent. Okay, so let's pop things back together again. See about pumping you in a little bit more focus. Whee. I hope you're enjoying Anchorman poking over the, uh, the desk. Just watching procedures, make sure it's all okay. Now there's, there's plenty of reviews on this now. If you look on um, YouTube, they'll be. You've got, I think, Todd's done one, Suck My Mod, Rip. Um, I don't know if uh, Mr. Basado's done one yet, but they're, 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 they're everywhere. So, when it comes to identifying the build, when it comes to identifying kind of the makeup of the cotton, have a look around. With any, any um, review out there, you should never, ever, ever contemplate purchasing something on one reviewer's idea. Always, always, always look for other perspectives and other people's thoughts on these things. If you buy something on one person, you've got no idea why they feel that way. They might have a completely different vaping style to you. And so you'll take a unit home, you'll spend your hard-earned money on something, get it home and realise it's not for you. Complete waste of time. So watch as much as you can. However, um, what we've got here... Top section, bottom section, chimney screws in. That's your fill, by the way. Those holes, oops, those holes are, where, are gonna be where you're gonna be dropping your juice. So, we'll pop that back together again, and we will start filling it up and see where we're at vaping-wise. And we'll go back up top for this. All right, thank you very much. And welcome back after the uppy, closey, personal getting to know you session. Um, what's happened now? Well, 
I have popped it onto the Segeli. I've left the 0.5 coil in. And the reason I've left the 0.5 in is one of the recent reviews. I think it was Matt from Suck My Mod. Um, I don't think it was Phil. I think it was Matt who um, highlighted the fact that a 0.5 coil on a Segeli actually reads more accurately up to the kind of the 100 watt area uh, than the 0.2 does. I can't remember at what level it starts going off. I think it's around the 70 watts sort of side of things. But there's no point in me putting a 0.2 into the Segeli because I've got 150 watts to play with if I want to. When I put this on a mech, which I will do at some point in time, then yeah, absolutely, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stick in the 0.2 and see what we've got to play with. But for the time being, I have had a little bit of a chuff on this. I've been having a hell of all time with the computer. So this is the third take at this video, which is super exciting. So it has gone down a little bit, but not as quick. Well, it's gone down quicker, sorry, than I imagined to start with. Um, it is without a doubt a juice guzzler, but as long as you know that going into it, you're fine. Couple of things that I've noticed, it upsets my OCD a tiny, tiny bit. Um, where are we now then? Okay, you see those air holes? Are you going to focus, you little bugger? Yeah, okay, you can see that the ring, as in the, the bit that you move, is actually slightly, ever so slightly larger than the actual um, hole inside the, the, the base. Now, it's only a little thing, but it's the same on all four. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a hole, why, why would you not make all the holes the same size? Number one. Um, and number two, it's just, it, the ring is a constantly spinning ring. It does. It's not like the Delta II, for instance, that you'll turn as far as it'll go and it, it stops. It, you know, once you've closed it, it, it won't go any further. And once you've opened it, it won't go any further. Now then, they're tiny little bugbears in the grand scheme of things. And they are um, absolutely forgivable when you remember that this is a £21 tank. 21 pounds which is ridiculous i still don't know the price of the coils i don't know anyone that's stocking the the the, the extra coils or the replacement coils yet so that's um that remains to be seen but 21 quid and it, it's a pretty well built piece of kit to be honest with you you can feel that the threads are a little bit cheaply done but nothing's cross threaded i don't feel scared tightening anything up it seems to be working fine now the eagle-eyed among you will also notice that i've put a delrin drip tip adapter on here the white piece the reason is on my previous goes at the video i've, I've taken this up to 75 watts and what was happening is this drip tip was getting really hot, really what It was like, you know, you, you, you're going balls to the wall with a dripper. It was getting really, really warm. Um, and so what signature tips in the UK make these little white um, Delrin drip tip adapters. So you don't, it doesn't take up really any extra space, but what it does do is it sort of helps dissipate some of that heat before it gets up to your smooth and kissable lips. So, it wicks really well. What I have found is that when I got to 75 watts, it was um, having a bit of an issue with keeping up with the wicking, and I did get a dry hit, but that's the only one that I've got, and there was a lot of chain vaping going on. You can see that the bubbles are coming up there quite a lot, um, so it is wicking, but it, it, is, it is drinking the juice. Anyway, where are we at? Let me show you what it does. 50 watts. Go 50 English watts. Have some of those puppies. Like I said at the start, the uh, the airflow is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it's not far off the or it's around about if not a smidge better than the Atlantis. Um, it's nice and easy for a lung hit. It doesn't whistle. It does. It does make a bit of noise, but it doesn't whistle. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm using the seventy thirty um, halcyon cran cheer cranberry thing um, juice in there, and it, it keeps up pretty pretty damn well. Considering, I don't know any tanks that you'll be chuffing away at sort of 
80, 90 watts for, and it doesn't go dry eventually. But let's go for 70 watts now. Yeah, you see, at that point, that's starting to get, that's starting to have a bit of a burnt flavour going on. Now, you can see that that tank has gone down already, just on a couple of, uh, a couple of draws of that. So, I'm not entirely sure if we're going, but when there's no, you can't see anything there that's uh, causing it not to wick. The base is pretty deep, you see, so let's drop that down to 60 now. Yeah, and that's keeping up again fine. Do I think this will go to 80? Not on this point 5, I don't think. Um, I think with the 70, 30, this is a very thick, um, a very thick juice as well. If I show you what I'm what I'm working with on this one, that is super, super thick. Not quite as thick as the Vampire Vape stuff, but it's, it's pretty damn chunky. So, this was full when I started, and I started three quarters of an hour ago and let's like say I have chain vaped it but it cloud it does cloud really well that's a nice 60 watts it's it's still a cool vape it's not too hot um, and it's very very enjoyable and it does cloud well Um, is it, you know, to compare it to a drip, you can't really compare it to a dripper, but it does a bloody, bloody good job. So, I got mine from Puff Palace on in the UK. Uh, I'll put a link up um, uh, beneath this video even, and uh, so you can go and check it out. They're currently selling them for £21. I got this, I bought this on a pre-order, and so far they haven't got, as far as I can see, the extra coils in stock. So I'm waiting to find out how much they're going to be. But all in all, it's 21 quid. It's a brilliant tank for 21 quid. It's absolutely superb. It would be awesome if they did a uh, rebuildable deck for it, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, all in all, it's a good buy. In my opinion, for what it's worth, if I broke this now... Would I go out and buy another one? Yes, I probably would, because you can't really argue for that sort of money. But you can see look, that's gone down even more now. It's um, it's a juice drinker for sure. But with those massive wicks, I'm not surprised. Yeah, good. That's about it. That's all I've got to say on that one. I hope you found this somewhat insightful, if nothing else. And thank you very much for watching. If you, I've got some more videos coming up this week. And if you fancy subscribing, please do. And watch some of my previous vids and leave comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you all soon. Keep on vaping, boys and girls. Oh, yes.